Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Mr. Your Willy, and I'm in Baldrick, hanging out. And why am I here? Well, I'm going to talk about 1.3. As you guys know, uh, Minecraft is updated to 1.3. It has been on the 1st. I meant to post this on the 31st, but I got really busy and wasn't able to. Um, so I'm posting it now. But if you guys haven't yet, don't update Minecraft to 1.3 if you wish to get on our server and the reason why is we're not going to be updating the server to 1.3 just yet we are going to update to 1.3 but this is how it's going to go we've done this with pretty much every update so you should kind of expect it by now if you've been with our server for a while but we're going to wait until a bucket update well I guess not a number one <laughs> Bucket updates to 1.3. Now, because Bucket's working with Minecraft right now with the development, that shouldn't take too long. Because um, they should have all the beta versions of Minecraft and uh, the updates and all that. So they should be pretty much on the ball. It shouldn't take too long at all. Now, once that has been updated, all the plugin developers can also update. Now, the plugin developers will also get a pre release of Bucket a little bit before it's released to the uh, public. And that is so that they can catch up with their plugins. Now, not all plugin developers are on the ball like, oh my goodness, let's update right now. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for those guys. Now, we have over 50 plugins running in our server. You wouldn't expect it uh, being on our server because we're not very plugin dependent. If you hop on our server, you don't have to know a lot. You can hop on. All you need to know is how money works, how to buy a plot, and you're pretty much good to go. Now, um... A lot of our plugins are maintenance things, making sure that the plugin or server runs smoothly, very lag free, seeing as I run it off my home computer, and adds cool little things like you know some of the interesting games that we play, some of the cool things that you get to see, like our shops, for instance, uh, you know, having these items hover there, you know, things like that. Uh, those need to be updated because without those, our server's not our server. It's not not the same. So we're going to have to wait until those have updated. Once all of those are updated, we're then going to update uh, a temporary server. It's basically going to be like a copy of this server running all the new plugins. The only people who can get on is the GMs and the Lords. And we'll basically be testing the server. Make sure that there's no major bugs like, for instance, all of a sudden Baldrick blows up. Or all wool catches on fire. Or something horrific like everybody loses their money, or all the items in their inventory, or all their towns are gone. Which, by the way, when you're updating plugins that, well, I don't know, maintain your money, keep towns in check, yeah, that actually can happen. So that's one of the major reasons why we wait for plugins. We don't want you to lose all your money. We don't want you to lose all your items. We don't want the towns to start disappearing. We want everything to literally go... We're running 1.2. Next day, we're running 1.3. And the only thing you notice is that there's new items, that the plug uh, server's running more smoothly because of whatever updates they did. That's all we want you to notice, and that's why we're waiting. So what are we going to do in the meantime? Well, we've just opened up a new mining world. I've released a video about it, so hopefully you guys have watched that. Um, it's to fix our old mining world because that ended up having some issues we're also having issues with the shops currently as you can see all the shops are showing this one point or two point one four seven two eight weird glitch um there's something wrong with it and we're trying to figure it out so temporarily the shops are closed in the meantime though we have a temporary shop if you go to the air docks here air docks click the button once you get to the button kind of a walk I'm not sprinting by the way but mm, you'll go into this elevator and it'll bring you up into the air docks now the air docks is where you can check out the Zephyr I think that's what the ship's called it's made by majestic wind and the dawn treader which is made by the wombat of doom uh, it'll take you to relic and our good old temporary trading ship now this ship was originally built for our creative world uh, I cannot remember the name at the moment. I thought it was called Saturn or something. But anyways, uh, because we're not using the creative world anymore, the ship is just kind of you know here for looks. Well, if you go onto the ship and down here, dum -da -da -dum, trading! This is our temporary shop. 
and it'll only sell iron, gold, and diamonds, and not sell, buy. So if you go up here, and you have some iron in your hand, and you right click the slab, it will buy an iron ingot, and give you 25 dricks. You don't actually have, the, have to have the high iron in your um, hand, it could be anywhere, it could even be in your inventory, of course I'm in creative at the moment, so I can't, there, ba -bow. so it's, it can even be in here, and if you right click, you sell an iron ingot. Now you do have to right click each time until it says you're not carrying any of the matching items. Uh, that means you don't have any iron in your inventory. If you left click, it'll tell you the price of it, uh, which is 25. Inventory unlimited just means it'll buy iron until the world has no iron left. Um, so this is 300 drex and this is 2000 drex. This will be the base currency once the shops are running again, so there won't be any discrepancies. But it will buy the base material, so if you guys have been stocking that up from the mining world and been waiting for the shops to open, at least you can get some money back. That's the uh, temporary shops. Those will be closed down once the permanent shops are back up and running, and obviously you can use the permanent shops for that. Um, but that's our temporary solution. So you guys can be happy about, you know, a fix and I do apologize that it's taking so long to fix it we have no idea why it's uh, acting that way um, also once the server is updated to 1.3 we're gonna start working on some new worlds the first world that we're gonna add to the server is a PvP world I kind of mentioned it in the mining tutorial or mining worlds video and I mentioned it in a few other videos that we're gonna be adding a uh, PV world now this one will be for PvP you hop on you uh, get some friends together create some kind of town together and protect it and try and destroy the other towns and have fun doing so we're also gonna add a few other worlds and I'll give you a little hints or not hint I'll kind of explain to you some of the ones we're thinking about these aren't a hundred percent sure but one of the worlds that we're thinking about is kind of a fantasy world. It'll have very unique generations. We have this new generator. It's what I used for the, the caves. and allows us complete control of everything. It's amazing what you can do with it. You can even add custom tree formations in the generation. So I can have a, a forest that has really tall trees. Um, we can add custom uh, buildings that will generate. We can have runes in this dark forest if we felt like it. You know, we can add some really interesting things. So we have some really good ideas about how to make it. And we're also going to use the new teleporter technique that we're using for the mine world with Andoria, which you guys will experience once again in the mining video, um, to allow some really interesting teleporters. Other than going to the nether, you'll enter a completely different world, which I will keep secret. You guys won't know what the world is. I already know what it is, but I'm not telling you guys. Mwahaha. Um, and there's actually going to be multiple different worlds, which will be really cool um, if it works out. That's one that we're thinking about, mind you. Um, it may not happen, but I'm really hoping it will. Another one that I've been thinking about, instead of just a PvP world, which we are going to add a PvP world, but we're also thinking about adding a hardcore world. Now, if you guys don't know what a hardcore world is, it's not like Minecraft hardcore where you die and the world gets exploded. No, it's not that kind of a hardcore. It is a hardcore in the sense that if you die in that world from another player, from a creeper, from suffocation, whatever, you will not be allowed on the server for X amount of days. We're most likely going to do it a week, um, which is quite a long time for some of you guys who keep hopping on, like Rural Kingsley, he's like here all the time. Nah, I'm just joking. Uh, but he is here all the time, it's kind of creepy. No, uh, but you will be banned, technically, from the server for a week. And when that week comes up, you can hop on the server again, and continue either in the hardcore world until you die and get banned for another week or um, join one of the other worlds and the nice thing is is these worlds just like Andoria is completely optional you can enter that world and play with it uh, you can start your own town in Andoria you can kill other people in the PvP world you can have fun in the hardcore world or the fantasy world or you can do none of them and just sit here in Baldrick all day long, or you can do all of them, which would be kind of hard if you died in the hardcore mode, because you wouldn't be able to do anything in the other worlds for a week. But it's all optional. 
And that's one of the worlds we're thinking about. So if you guys have any suggestions or you think that one of the ideas I told you guys is going to be amazing and you think that I should totally do it, comment below. I like hearing your guys' opinions. And if you wish to know when the server will be updated to 1.3, please don't ask us. We don't know. We don't develop the plugins. We don't run Bucket. We won't be able to update the server until they update the plugins. So please try not to get on our nerves because it really does get on our nerves if you guys ask us every time we hop on when's it going to be updated because we really do not know. Um, when the server gets updated, it will be updated and I'll produce a video here telling you it's been updated. Oh my god, it took a year and there's been five updates and it's crying. No, that'd be really bad. But, um, and we'll also post it on the form. And of course, you won't be able to get on the server because it'll be like, your Minecraft is out to date. And you'll be like, oh my god, yes, finally. Um, also, check out the ice park. It's pretty cool. Wombat of Doom made this. We have some fun ideas that we're going to work with this. Um, who knows when it'll be finished, but we do have some good ideas. Snowball fight, anyone? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe as always to join the epicness. This is. Mr. Your Willy, signing off. Adios.